guys, sorry it's been a while. This is Dan here with Play3DS, and I've got a new mailbag video, as some of you might know if you've been following me on my social networks. Um, and this one I'm really excited about, and I really just want to open it up right now. But I started to open the package, and I said, nope, i got to make a video, because last time I opened up Call of Duty, and I should have waited. But okay, let's open it up now, because it's time. Well, this is um, probably the most excited I've ever been about one of these mailbag videos. And you're about to see why. I got this off eBay. Okay, here's one part of it. And another part of it. Now, any idea what that is? Okay, let's, let's start with this side and see what's in here. Oh no, they really got this thing charged up. Uh oh, this is the charger. Okay, any guesses now? Alright, and now here's, here's what's left. <laughs> if you know what it is, I'm sure you know what it is, but uh, if not, oh, uh, we're about to find out. And I am. can't wait. Well, it took a couple days to get here. Here we are. Oh my gosh, it's a Game Boy Micro. That is pretty awesome. It's a black one. It's got the headphone jack down there. Now actually, I, I've been just really wanting one of these lately because it'd be um, so portable and I had one before and I'm just... I think it'd be nice to have something to kind of play on the go more so because I don't like to carry my 2DS around with me. I mean, Obviously, just I'll give you a size comparison. Okay, as far as carrying this thing around with me goes, I mean, look at the, the size difference here is uh, undeniable, you know. But also, I also wanted to take a minute to show. I don't know why I said also twice, but some of the games I picked up at some uh, yard sales recently. Here I got Namco Museum for very cheap. Got it for like a dollar. Pokemon Sapphire version for like a dollar, so I probably won't be playing um, the new 3DS games because I got this one. Boom. Um, now I'm not sure if Game Boy Color games are working out. I'll do a test. I got Mrs. Pac-Man for about 50 cents at a garage sale last week. And uh, let's see, Mario vs. Donkey Kong, which is a fun. Um, game, if you've ever played the Mario vs. Donkey Kong series, it's kind of like um, guiding, it's like the original Donkey Kong for Game Boy, you have to guide Mario from one end of uh, a level to the other to get through all these obstacles. And Sonic Advance 3, I got that for very cheap, very, very cheap as well, I don't remember the price. This was free. Um, Barbie Secret Agent, it's got someone's name on there. And then Dogs, I don't know anything about this, but some game by Ubisoft. Also had some random DS games in here. Horses. Look at this game comes to me the game is dog. And this looks to maybe like it might be interesting to turn on for a few minutes. Zoo Tycoon DS. But anyways, I just wanted to check out this game by Micro. Let's make sure the batteries. Look at those buttons blow up. Okay, now I'm gonna try. Okay, this is awesome. Okay, let's take a minute just to try out Pokemon Sapphire version. Look how the game fits in there so nicely. that time. Maybe we'll try again. The old blow on the cartridge days. Well, it didn't work that time. Third time's the charm. There we go. Got the Nintendo logo now. You know it worked. These tiny speakers. Okay. 
This is gonna be so great to go finally go. Just have Pokemon Sapphire in my pocket without being a brick. Oh, the internal battery has run dry. The clock can or the game can be played, however, time-based events will not occur. That's too bad about these old um, Game Boy games. Now let me see. Um, I want to try this Namco Museum game out because ever since I got Smash Bros on my 3DS, I got interested in trying out Pac-Man again just because I like his character. Did you guys see that these Coca-Cola bottles already have Santa Claus on them? It's, it's November 14th today. Okay, here's Namco Museum. I'm not sure all what's on here because I got another garage sale, but... Okay, I got Miss Pac-Man, so I have it up there and on Game Boy Color. Alright. Pole position? Dig Dug? Galaga, sweet. This is a sweet arcade pack. Galaxian... Okay. Now, I thought regular Pac-Man was on here as well. And for those who don't know, what you do to control the brightness on this is on the side there is a volume switch right here. Now if you press that by itself, it'll control volume. There's a little beeping noise. Now if you hold L, and press up or down, it'll change the brightness. So right now I have the brightness all the way down. I'll put it all the way up. Let's see if I can get a good view. Okay. So that's kind of cool. Now I'm going to try. Yeah, I'm so excited, guys. This is looking awesome. Okay. I am charging the Game Boy Micro now. Um, it has a, its own USB adapter. It plugs into the top up here by the L and R buttons. And um, actually, the cool thing about the Game Boy Micro is that these face plates you can actually change on them. On the sides of the system, see those two little holes on the other side of the screws there? Um, what you can do is there's a special tool that you use to poke those holes in and this face plate comes off and they had different styles, you can get different colors, they have um, you know, camouflage, pink, and blue swirls, they have a black one I've seen a Mother 3 Game Boy Micro, and there's a lot of special edition ones was, that were very nice there's also a spot on the side of the micro here for a lanyard and there's a little look at the volume rocker for you in the back of it also controls the brightness and the cool thing about this is that we have a headphone jack right there on the bottom 2.5 millimeter standard headphone jack the original Game Boy Advance had a 2.5 millimeter head jack but the Game Boy Advance SP even though it made all the improvements and had a light on the screen you had to buy a special uh, adapter to have uh, to plug headphones in or to buy special headphones so it's nice that they got that right on the micro here and uh, I'm not sure if you can tell oh, I just finished charging actually but these buttons I'll plug it back in really quick so you can see them light up they'll light up blue while it's charging and then see they turned off that means it's done charging so I've had this on the charger for a little bit and I'll just show you how you turn it on is actually a switch it's not a button or anything it's right there so you flip this voila Game's on the go. Oh, well, <laughs> game didn't start up. Got to blow in the cartridge sometimes. Let's see. Did we get it? Yeah, we got it. Game Freak. Some Pokemon Ruby. Sapphire, sorry. I'll just start the new game right here. 
That's all for this video guys. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. A few of you who do, it's really appreciated and it makes this more fun to do. Uh, I'm uh, really enjoying this Game Boy Micro and uh, you can find them on eBay a little bit cheaper than Amazon when I looked. Um, the ones on eBay were um, a little cheaper and better condition. A lot of the ones on Amazon didn't come with a charger and they were scuffed up so I recommend eBay. And I actually started an eBay account just so I could buy this one because they had way better products. Otherwise I prefer Amazon but that's another story. Anyways let me know down below what your favorite handheld is or what bizarre handhelds you have or what sort of handheld you want to add to your collection. I don't know. Tell me something because I love to hear it. See you next time. Peace.